Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It is your host, the one and only one Hennis. And today guys, bring another absolutely insane video onto my channel. What you guys can be watching is actually my very first nuclear here in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now this actually took me an insanely long time to get guys. As you guys know, the game's been out since November 6th and as of recording this commentary it is November 21st. So it took me quite a bit of time to actually get my very first nuclear, but I'm very, very proud to say that I have finally gotten it. I know it's with a try hard weapon like the VMP, but honestly guys, I've been trying so hard recently to get this that I was like you know what I'm fed up I'm just gonna go with the most try hard weapon that I can and try to get the most beast gameplay that I can I don't even care guys I'm so super happy that I finally got this and hopefully you guys will enjoy this awesome gameplay so just to give you guys a heads up of what's actually going on here I'm actually playing some hard point here on the map nuketown in a six-man party with some of my friends now these guys are absolutely insane Call of Duty PC pub stompers I actually met them through Dino you guys saw Dino's upload earlier today where he got a two-minute nuclear which is absolutely insane if you guys want to go and check out that gameplay you can actually click the link on screen now to go check out his crazy two minute nuclear gameplay he would really appreciate that and drop a like on it speaking of which guys if you are super hyped for my very first nuclear gameplay here in call of duty black ops 3 there's no way you could be more hyped than i am but if you are excited and if you guys do like to support my channel then please be sure to drop a like on this video guys that would really mean a lot to me if we could try to shoot for 50 likes for this very first nuclear that i have ever gotten in call of duty black ops 3 guys that would honestly really mean a lot to me and uh, yeah without further ado let me talk a little bit here about the gameplay so like I said, I'm using the VMP, which arguably is one of the best weapons in this game, or at least it was when the game first came out back in the early release days. But as you guys know, the game has actually been patched since then, and the VMP is not as strong as it used to be. It actually got nerfed, I believe, twice. So that's honestly a little bit disappointing, considering this is one of my favorite SMGs to use. You know, the only really downside that I can see with a weapon like this is the recoil. The recoil is absolutely insane, especially at long distances. And one of the ways that I compensate for that is throwing on quick draw and grip. Now grip obviously is gonna help reduce that recoil. That's the whole point of that attachment. It's going to help reduce the amount of recoil you have on your gun when you are using it. But I also throw on quick draw and that kind of works to my advantage in two different ways. One, quick draw allows you to aim down your sights faster, which is obviously gonna be very, very important, especially when you're playing on a map like Nuketown, like I am here in this gameplay. You're gonna wanna make sure you're up and ready in those gunfights as fast as you can be because in this game, you know, whoever gets those first shots on is really most likely going to have that upper hand when it comes to winning that gunfight and ultimately staying on that streak or getting that next score streak, something like that. So quick draw is very, very important. And quick draw also does help increase your accuracy. It's one of the things that it shows in the create a class menu when you go to select your quick draw attachment, it actually does help to increase the overall accuracy of your weapon. So I actually technically have two attachments working to help reduce the recoil and increase the accuracy of my VMP, which is absolutely awesome because the recoil in the VMP is actually absolutely insane. So anything that I can do to help reduce it really does help me out a lot. So the other attachments that I'm using are actually fast mag and laser sight. Laser sight is insane if you just want to hip fire when you're in close range. And for my perks, I'm using flak jacket, scavenger, and tack mask. So anyways, guys, hopefully you all did enjoy this gameplay. If you guys do, please be sure to smack that like button. It really does help the channel grow. Like I said, we're shooting for 50 likes on this video, guys. That would mean the absolute world to me. And if you guys did watch this entire commentary, then be sure to comment down below, hashtag Hennis's first nuclear. That'll let me know that you guys watched this entire video. And anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming, and as always, stay cool. Adios.